my muted color palette like my walls night okay give me a second this is real life my night hi you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Stephanie Charlene Marie this is Charlene Marie lifestyle so today we're going to be doing something which I absolutely love we're going to be talking about design what are we going to be discussing in particular um, we're going to be talking about designing a buffet or a sideboard actually the term is interchangeable what makes a sideboard a sideboard and or a buffet a buffet is the actual placement they're really the same thing as far as a piece of furniture is concerned but what makes the difference is where it's placed so let me give you an example well actually this is my buffet and I'm going to use the terminology buffet because it's placed in my dining room so when you have a buffet placed in your dining room it's usually for the purpose to store extra um, dishes, linens, and things when you're entertaining. When you take, if I took this and I put it in my living room, and then it will be considered to be a sideboard. Reason being, because now I'm using the same piece of furniture to store other things in my living room. So it wouldn't be a buffet at that point. But it's really the same thing, right? So I will, pan the room so you can see get a better view of this piece of furniture but let me move out the way what you're going to notice as a theme in my home is i love french provincial furniture whatever furniture style or design you love be true to your design it's okay to buy trendy furniture if that's what you like but whatever you whatever you're true to as far as your actual design that's what's going to make you um, love your home. That's what's going to make you excited. Whether you're designing your own home, um, your apartment, your room, or even if you hire a designer, go with what you love because trends come and go. Your actual style will live with that you. That is one of my key things in designing anything stay true to what you love even you're going to see that i have sprinkles of um, modern furniture because i do also appreciate modern furniture so my design style is french provincial luxury modern okay and so i know it's a lot of words but that's really how i can more so sum up um my design style and I love it. I've always loved French Provincial furniture ever since I was a child. My design style really hasn't changed. So let's jump into how to style a buffet table. We're going to talk about how to style it, where it looks luxurious, simple, chic. But then so when you're displaying things on your sideboard, you want it to look elegant and you want it to elevate the space. I'm gonna show you guys how I design my buffet and then I'm gonna give you some recommendations on things that you can do. I think that all sideboards should have a lamp. For me, I like more so creams, ivory, um, um, furniture. I've always been that way. I like a light and airy paint, even if the paint has a color. I still like it to I still like the color to be light right so let's talk about this so first off I do have a piece of glass covering my buffet now I do I plan to get this glass recut because the company that cut this glass for me they're willing to um, basically trace out the detailing of this sideboard so the glass will be um, really custom to this piece but for now we just got this piece of glass here for protection and i love it because glass on top of your sideboard is a form of elevation okay glass and usually glass furniture elevates your space so we're going to talk about, so and then when i use glass on top of pieces of furniture i normally don't get a tent 
this is just a clear piece of glass I do have a um, it's not a felt pad it's like a rubber pad so it won't damage the furniture but that's also another good thing about placing glass over items such as a nightstand sideboard console table it's a layer of protection so when you're sitting things on top of it you don't have to worry about your furniture being damaged okay so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so we can see here. Okay. So, so first we're going to discuss this lamp here. So let me go over and turn off the light so you can see how this lamp illuminates this area but doesn't give it so much light. So it's still daytime here in Detroit. However, this lamp gives off a little romantic chill light at night I love lighting a candle and I like to turn on the lamps in the house it get, it illuminates just enough light it brings a luxurious feel to your home and I'm always here for the elevation so it's always good to place a um, lamp on your buffet you're decorating the space and you're looking for elevation it's all you should always want to be practical and do things in your space that's functional for your family, for your room, for your day to day activities. So you don't want things to be just as aesthetically pleasing. You still want the functionality. That's very important. So the sideboard, even though it's aesthetically pleasing to me, is still very functional because I get to do things that I like, such as light a candle. I still get to have lighting over here and so therefore I don't have to turn on my overhead light of my chandelier um, because at night I don't always want my chandelier on. I suffer from headaches and I never like to have overhead lightings on really. So I live with my lamps. So if you're a person like me, suffer from headaches or you just like a more chill lighting it's always good to have multiple lamps in your space. So let's get back to this lamp. I've had this lamp for a couple years now. This lamp is made of a concrete material. I purchased this lamp from Home Goods. This lamp is very, very heavy. And it's very heavy and I believe it's made in India. So now let's talk about my ducks. These are brass ducks. I purchased these ducks actually from a resale shop. I want to say the ducks were like a hundred dollars a piece well worth it um, when you're decorating your buffet you want to have different heights on your buffet you do not want everything to be 12 inches so let me step back when you look at this lamp then you see that this duck gets a little taller and, and they were like a hundred dollars a piece but in my opinion they were well worth the price and that's another thing about me. I look for different items. Sometimes I can't just walk into a um, brand store or just a store period and find everything I like. So I have no problems with going into the resale shops to see if they have something that I love. And so I found these beauties here. Definitely brought them home with me. Cleaned them up. And now they're sitting here on my buffet. But if you see, if you look, you can see the variation of height. You can see my live plant, right? This plant is 100% real. I purchased this plant from, um, I want to say like Home Depot, English Garden or something of that nature. One tip is when you go to Home Depot or English Gardens, I look in the clearance section, the clearance section of plants because plants can be pricey. So this is what I mean by the variation of height. Then let's zoom in. On the other side of the plant, you see the candle, right? The candle is small. So once again, variation of height. I do have it in a hurricane. I purchased that hurricane from Home Goods and this huge flower pot. 
I will link that as well. I purchased that from Amazon. It is like some type of porcelain cement material and it's very heavy. And what I like about the flower pot is it's a transitional piece, more modern. First, I wanted to give you guys a really close up. I wanted to give you guys a visual of my sideboard area. I do stay in a historical home. Um, this is my walls are plaster. Hey you guys, I clearly know we're talking about sideboards, but I have the camera panning the walls because I want you to understand that when you're choosing a piece of fun furniture for your space, such as a sideboard, the detailing in your home does matter. Everyone does not stay in a historical home. I do understand that, but you want your sideboard to be a representation of your home. If you have a modern home, transitional home, or you don't exactly have a design style, that's okay. But you still want your sideboard to complement your space. So you wanna make sure that you're shopping at stores that you actually like and picking out things that you like so it can complement your space. And also, when you're um, decorating your sideboard, you wanna make sure that you're using your vertical space. You want your to draw the eye up. So when a person walks into your room, they're looking up, they're not just looking down toward the floor or toward the top of your sideboard. That helps to add a luxurious touch and also purchase larger pieces of decor. The company that cut this piece of glass for me, they don't actually come out to your home and take the measurements. You have to do it yourself. So we have to trace out the sideboard and then take it up to the company and they'll cut the glass. And so we're going to get this glass like totally cut, cut out. So all of this intricate detailing here won't be missed so you guys as you can see here i played with shapes we have circles ovals octagons squares even though um the things that i've chosen were um typical books candles plants i made sure the items made a large impact by choosing large items and I pretty much much stayed within my color palette of greens, creams, golds, black, white. And so once again, choose larger pieces and make sure you have different shape decor. Very luxurious and elevated. And the drapes, the shears, all ties in. The color palette, ivory. This more so has a yellow buttery undertone, this buffet. And so what did I do? I used whites, I used golds, I used cement, I used greens cement that's more out that's more nature you have the gold tones you have the plant which is nature but then you have the candle which softens the space elegant the books elevating the space and then you have this here vase but it serves really as a statute as well but just everything blends effortlessly so even though my style is french provincial this is where you see some modern elements and so everything doesn't have to be one design style anything that i'm able to link today i will
Okay, you guys, I hope the lighting is not too bad. Like I said before, I really do suffer from headaches. So the artificial light, the artificial light really bothers me. Um, I do have a lot of windows in my home, fortunately. Let me just tell you guys, um, <clears throat> when you are looking for pieces for your home, do not shy away from resale shops. So things that will help elevate your sideboard is organic shapes and materials, such as what you see here, concrete. You definitely want to have a plant flower, even if it's a faux plant, faux flower. I'm going to always recommend a real plant because I'm just going to say it. Real plants, a faux plant can't hold a candle to a real plant. If you can't grow a real plant, just try something that's simple such as a mother tongue. But I'm a person over the last three years, four years, I just started growing plants. I'm really a new plant mom. And when I say new, somebody might say, well, you've been doing this for four years. But if you knew how many plants have died in my care, and I just kept trying. Then I learned, read. The plants say, hey, I like low light, high light, a lot of water, I'm easy to care okay. for. And so I'm hoping that you enjoyed this um, home decor sideboard chit chat. Some people say, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, start by looking at what you love and go from there, okay? So if you have any design questions, please put them in the comment section. You can DM me on Instagram. Um, feel free to let me know other videos you would like to see. I'm all for the home decor. I'm all for the fashion. I'm all for the beauty. I'm all for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Okay. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. No, that's oh, my okay. signature. I love it. So like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to Charlene and Marie Lifestyle. See you next Bye. week. Bye.